Hello everyone and welcome to What's New in Red Hat Smart Management with Satellite 6.9. This video is intended to be a brief slide-based overview of the new features and capabilities coming in the latest Smart Management release. Smart Management for Red Hat Enterprise Linux combines the capabilities of Satellite with the simplicity of management from the cloud and helps to improve overall operational efficiency by 28%. Red Hat Satellite helps you to patch, provision, report, and control your RHEL hosts, and paired with Red Hat Insights, Smart Management helps to both identify issues via cloud.redhat.com and remediate them. Smart Management includes two main components, Red Hat Satellite and Cloud Connector. We've got new capabilities for both components that we'll be covering today. First, we'll look at what's new with Smart Management as a whole. The connected experience is key for many of you, and Red Hat is working to make that experience even better while preserving all of the capabilities we have for disconnected or air-gapped customers. The connected experience with Smart Management is closely tied to Red Hat Insights for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Insights is included with your Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscription, and this is true for any supported version of RHEL that has access to the Red Hat Insights client, typically RHEL 6.4 and above. Insights identify risks in your RHEL environment, and we're going to cover three easy ways to fix the things that Insights finds as smart management plays an important role. These could be patches, security vulnerabilities, compliance issues, or stability and performance type of issues. The first way is included with the base value of Insights. Everybody gets this, along with their RHEL subscription. With many of the issues that Insights finds, you can dynamically generate an Ansible playbook. You can then download the playbook, and then you run it with Ansible. Typically, this means you would download the playbook, transfer it to a system that has Ansible Community or Ansible Automation Platform set up, and then run the playbook. The newest way is the ability to fix issues using Cloud Connector set up directly on the host. This is a direct connection from cloud.redhat.com to the host and does require a smart management subscription. But it doesn't require a satellite. Find issues with insights, then click the Execute Playbook button. The playbooks transfer to the hosts and then run with Ansible directly on the host. The third way is to use Cloud Connector with Satellite. This connects the satellite to cloud.redhat.com and requires a smart management subscription. Fix this issue with Insights, then click the Execute Playbook button. The playbook is transferred to the satellite, onto the capsule, then run with Ansible Remote Execution using the capsule. These are the three ways to easily patch and remediate risks both with and without satellite. Smart management is required for two of the three and drastically simplifies the remediation process. Let's talk a little bit more about the newest way to fix what Insights finds. Remediate via Cloud Connector with Red Hat Connector. Red Hat Connector is a new optional command line utility that's available as tech preview with RHEL 8.4. The RHC command will register a host to both Subscription Manager and Insights, including the subscription service. This will also install additional packages if needed, so if you want to use the compliance service of Insights, it will install OpenSCAP and the System Security Guide, which are additional components the compliance service needs. When using Red Hat Connector, you can also define which Insights services are enabled using the service dashboard on cloud.redhat.com. I'll show you what this looks like in just a moment. These four features do not require smart management. They're just part of RHEL and part of Insights. Red Hat Connector can also configure Cloud Connector, which creates a connection from the host to cloud.redhat.com for the purposes of remediation. This specific feature does require smart management. The rest of the features do not. Here's a look at the service dashboard on cloud.redhat.com. This will allow you to turn on and off certain services as well as enable or disable the Cloud Connector functionality. 
let's look at this from a high level architectural perspective. It's important to first understand the behavior for insights and rel without smart management. In this case, insights can detect common issues and for most issues can dynamically generate an Ansible playbook. Without smart management, you can download that playbook. Once downloaded, again, you need to determine how you run the playbook. You can use Ansible Community, you can use Ansible Automation Platform, and you can just sync that playbook with Ansible Tower, but the choice is yours. You have to figure out how to run that playbook. Once you add smart management into the mix, it enables Cloud Connector and the Execute Playbook button. Using Red Hat Connector, you can connect Insights and the host together through Cloud Connector to enable the Execute Playbook button, which allows you to generate the playbook and send it to the host to be fixed. In a larger environment, you might be using Red Hat Satellite. With Satellite, you also get provisioning, lifecycle management, content management, and the ability to scale out with Satellite and Capsules. In this case, Cloud Connector is configured through Red Hat Satellite, and multiple satellites can be connected to cloud.redhat.com. So if you have an inventory that's spread across multiple satellites, this is no problem, and you get a centralized view of all of your hosts from cloud.redhat.com. In a more complex environment, you might have a production environment that leverages satellite and a developer environment, or a small agile group that doesn't have a satellite. All the systems can now be connected with Cloud Connector to enable push button remediation. Again, together, Insights and Smart Management look like this. With Satellite, all the data is automatically proxied through the satellite without you having to perform any manual configuration. Configuring Cloud Connector enables the Execute Remediate button inside the Insights Remediation service. Click that Execute Remediation button and the playbook is sent to Satellite and run. If you have a host that's connected using Red Hat Connector, that also configures Cloud Connector and you have that same Execute Remediation button. However, if you have a host connected with Subscription Manager and the Insights Client, you do not have Cloud Connector and you only have the ability to download the playbook. In this instance, you're responsible for running the playbook using whatever method you prefer, while in the other example, Smart Management handles the step for you. Now let's cover the new features of Satellite 6.9. Red Hat Satellite is a scalable platform based off of a base capability of content management and curation. Download the content as close to your host as possible, create lifecycle environments and content views to shape that content, and then use the content to patch and provision to suit your needs. The key theme for Satellite 6.9 in one word is simplicity. Key features are improving the connected experience, simplifying remote execution, and simple content access enhancements. Keep in mind that satellite and capsule servers still need to be installed on a host running RHEL 7, as satellite does not yet support running on RHEL 8. We'll start by talking about that improved connected experience. Satellite 6.9 has quite a bit of work in this area, including enabling a default connected experience this is only for new installs of Satellite, where we'll default to opting into that connected experience, meaning the Satellite itself is registered to Insights, the hosts registered to Satellite are also registered to Insights, and the Satellite inventory upload is enabled for subscription purposes. Inventory sharing also adds a scheduler and has been improved to collect additional information such as system purpose, lifecycle environments, content views, and more. Collecting this information will help with tagging or grouping inside of cloud.redhat.com, as well as greater awareness of the purpose of the hosts connected via satellite. This information can be very helpful to the subscription service to help clarify the purpose of a real host. Cloud connector simplification means that inside of satellite, you'll now be able to see a cloud connector context under the configure RH cloud inventory upload page. This will quickly tell you if Cloud Connector has been configured from Satellite. If not, from this page, you can click a button and that will trigger the inventory upload, create a service user with a token, and run the Cloud Connector configuration playbook using our new service that we created. If you've already configured Cloud Connector, you can see a health status and it will let you know that Cloud Connector's ready to go. 
We updated the insights view within satellite. So on the host page, we're adding an indicator stating if the insights advisor service has found any issues for the hosts. And we've improved IP address obfuscation for subscriptions. So with the click of a button, we no longer send IP addresses to cloud.redhat.com for subscriptions. In the area of satellite simplicity, we just want to make satellite easier to use. And in the 6.9 release, we're trying to make remote execution simple. So when you set up satellite, remote execution should work out of the box without a bunch of manual configuration or shipping of SSH keys. You can also choose to do this during provisioning, which network interface in the host does remote execution. You can set system purpose via remote execution or a bulk action. And we've added improved handling of pause tasks during upgrade. So if you go to do that upgrade process, we check for any pause tasks. And if we can resume it, we will. If we can't, we'll delete them. So if you run the installer with the dash Y flag, we won't require any user interaction at all, even if pause tasks are present. You've made it some enhancements around simple content access as well. If you're not already familiar with simple content access, it makes it easy to use Red Hat subscriptions without the complexity of our tools. SCA is not a connected experience and does not require a connection to the internet. We do recommend that you also use the subscription service within Insights to track your subscription utilization, but that is optional. I do recommend you enable SCA as soon as possible and certainly before your next subscription renewal. The features we've added with SCA are simplification of the workflow when SCA is enabled. In that case, we change the subscription workflow to better represent what simple content access is doing, including things like disabling subscription status, disabling or enabling repositories by default, showing simple content access at the organization level, and preventing subscription attaching when SCA is enabled. You're no longer attaching subscriptions to hosts, so you don't need any of that stuff. We're also hiding subscription-related dashboard widgets. And we're enabling SCA by default when you create a new subscription allocation. Uh, it doesn't change the setting on any existing subscription allocations, but if you do update that to satellite 6.9, we're gonna provide you more information about simple content access and encourage you to turn it on. We always do enhancements for security and satellite 6.8 added support for common access card support via Red Hat single sign-on. And the 6.9 release is adding the ability to create a time-based one-time password for two-factor authentication. We got some under the hood technology updates as well. Under the covers, we changed to the Puma web server, which should result in improved speed when using the web UI and VMware boot disk auto attack. That was tech preview several releases ago. We moved that out of tech preview into fully supported status. And in our little bytes category, we've undertaken some performance improvement of the host detail page. If you were logged in as a non-admin user, the performance was not very good. So we've improved the performance to be the same as that of an admin user. We've also gone back and done documentation for host templates. That feature was delivered as part of 6.8, but within our managing host guide, we added a template writing section in Appendix A. All right, a few resources to close us out. We've got your basic information about smart management. You can visit our FAQ. Be sure to, to follow us on our blog. You'll also find that within Satellite, if you've set the default notification drawer settings, you should get notifications whenever we get a new release of Satellite right within side of Satellite itself. It is also important to note that with the release of Satellite 6.9, Satellite 6.6 .6 and older will be end of life. We have a number of Satellite specific resources out there. Again, our satellite blog. We've got some courses if you're fairly new to satellite. RH053 is a base level technical overview. That's also out there on Udemy and on YouTube. And then RH403 is our satellite six administration course. Thank you for your time and hopefully you found this information valuable of what's new with smart management and satellite 6.9.